All right, so today we're going to talk about plugins. Quick show of hands. Anybody ever install a WordPress site without using plugins? <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh, we have a, a, a good panel today um, developers, uh, designers, users. Uh, we have Eric and Judy. Eric is here at Liverpool uh, University. Eric has been WordPressing since 2007 and spent the last few years building apps for mobile devices. Automatic took note and in March Eric joined their team as a mobile wrangler. Eric, that's a Eric in the other room. <laughs> Eric Juden has been programming for eight years and has been on the web application development team for Maryville University since 2008. Under his watch, Maryville has been using WordPress multi-site for faculty, staff, and student blogs since 2009. And this summer launched their main website on WordPress multi-site. That was a big deal. Good job. Uh, Eric has created around 25 WordPress plugins and released eight to the WordPress community. Somewhere in the midst of all that, Eric is able to hang out with his wife and kids and also spend time camping and backpacking. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Hugh. <laughs> Next to Eric is Niall Flores. Niall Flores, I like this, is a sassy Southern Illinois mom, a professional <laughs> blogger, and a WordPress designer and developer. She's been using WordPress since before it was WordPress. She spends a large part of her time helping others in creation, maintenance, and promotion of their sites. When not coding, blogging, or speaking at conferences, Niall has fun raising her son and works on her sweet Shorin Kempo karate skills. Watch out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Niall Flores. I am Sue Spencer, I'm the owner of Spencer Web Design, and I've been uh, doing design for, well, many years, mid-90s is when I started, and I am currently uh, working primarily on WordPress websites, I love them. I am more from the design side, so I'm the non-techie, I'm a non-coder, and that's the approach that I take. Hi, my name is Nathaniel Schweinberg, I'm from Nashville. I'm, I've been developing for WordPress for the last three years, and I actually released my first plugin today in the repository. We're very excited for it. Um, uh, sure. Hey. Oh, what? A short codes generator? Okay. Is there like a tiny URL? Uh, no, so. Uh, I. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Nathaniel, thanks sure. for that. Um, since my first question is uh, primarily focused on the developer, I'm going to start with you. As a WordPress developer, what core plugins do you generally install on every site? Every site. Um, well, now I'm installing my shortcut generator on every site. <laughs> but I do really simple. Um, I've also been using uh, Gravity Forms a whole bunch. That makes things really simple. Um, gosh. If anybody has any questions, like what's Gravity Forms, shout them out. Yeah, Gravity Forms is a is a plugin for creating forms really simply. So, for example, uh, if you want to make a newsletter sign-up form, um, it integrates with uh, Mailchimp and Aweber. Uh, I want to say a few different things. Or if you wanted to do a contact form, Gravity Forms will do a contact form. Or if you want to sell products, uh, it will also help you sell um, specific things. So, for example, I'm working with a client who is a pharmacist. He wants to do. Um, he wants his clients to go to his website to fill out this form for health consultations, and so he can create a form of all the different issues that they're, they're experiencing. You know, do you, do you experience night sweats? Do you experience this, that, and the other? Um, and at the end of it, they can purchase the consultation as opposed to having to do this full e-commerce platform. You can just do this one, this one, this one thing. You, you can make it a quote system. You can make it a custom post type generator. You can uh, uh, you can make it a social bookmark. Uh, People to submit their, their links and to WordPress and make a social bookmark site out of um, Gravity Forms and bring WordPress together. Um, it's, 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 it's whatever your imagination can take you. Yeah. You could probably spend the whole hour on Gravity Forms. <laughs> <laughs> it is a paid plugin, though, it's not one of the free ones, but it's very reasonable. And it's DPL. Nathan, you can ask one or two more to use. Can you share social? Yeah. I'm probably distracted. Don't you find Gravity Forms in the fair style? Yes, I do. Um, but because it makes the actual form process so easy, I'll take I'll take the extra time to, to, to take care of it. And I don't turn the styling on. I'll just I'll style it myself. With Gravity Forms, you have the option of uh, having their their style sheet added to your to your theme, which makes it look reasonably nice. Um, but for actual custom themes. 
you can turn that off so you can style it however you, you can make it look however you want to. So, as a designer, what's your perspective on this? On graphic cards? No, on, on plugins. What well, sort of plugins to help you? I have a lot of call for uh, photo galleries and slideshows, and so we have a couple of those that we really like. On the free side, Next Gen Gallery is one of the most popular ones that we use. It's very flexible. It allows you to do small icons that will you can click on and start a slideshow so people can get an overview right away of everything you have on the page. Or you can set it up as a slideshow on your home page or on any page. Uh, and it's just very flexible. We like it a lot. And then Royal Slider is one of the paid uh, slideshows that we use, and that has been really a great, a great plugin for us. We really like that one. Royal, Royal what? Sorry. It's Royal Slider. Royal Slider, that's right. And now, what about you? Um, uh, Google XML, Sitemaps, uh, WordPress uh, SEO by Yoast. Um, what else do I do? FeedBurner, FeedSmith, uh, to integrate FeedBurner into uh, RSS feeds for your site. Uh, it's making it more valid. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. So, would it be accurate to say you're a blogger? Uh, I do all sorts, uh, all CMS and everything. It's so, not just a, you know, but I did well. <laughs> as well. Your, your perspective would be from the end user. So. Yeah, we, there's a lot about, even after all the sites that you see, probably most likely 95% of those sites that you saw on the number at the present, in the intro presentation are bloggers. And it's very, it's, it's just, it's mind boggling. And if they're not bloggers, they do have a blog. These things. So, um, Eric, what about? <laughs> That's a lot of new information for me. Can you repeat those um, plugins again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Google XML sitemaps. Okay. Uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast. And that's pretty self-explanatory. It helps for SEO. Real quick, what's XML sitemaps do? Um, basically, it gives you uh, sitemaps or valid sitemap. Um, and it's uh, it, it makes I'll say it's useful for uh, your search engine. So yeah, really. So it's so you yeah, can yeah. actually submit it to Google Webmaster Tools, and it'll help index your site. Okay. And that's what it, what it does by um, telling you what errors you have and everything else on your oh, site. Great. Thank you. Have and the feed burner, the feed smith, are those two separate plugins? <clears throat> feed burner, speed smith, it's all one plugin. In fact, if you go to Google Feed Burner, on oh, um, by Google? Yeah. And well, it used to be by itself, but Google bought it up. And so whenever you go in there and you submit your um, your actual WordPress feed itself, it'll give you uh, a way to integrate it, uh, whether you're a blogger, if you're using Blogger or WordPress or some other type of CMS or blogging platform. Um, but FeedBurner, FeedSmith, and the plugin is the one in WordPress that they would, you know, say. So. Eric, is there anything with AMS or maybe something specific to multi site? Uh, well, for starters, I just start with Google Analytics. Uh, there's a good one called Google Analyticator. That's, uh, it's actually nice because it shows your stats in your dashboard as well. Analyticator. Yes, I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like to tell you that my iPhone corrects every one of these to something else. <laughs> 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 so that's your your piece of shut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do any of these plugins conflict with each other, or do we have to worry about conflicts when we do that? So far, the ones that, that have been mentioned, I, I, I do not know of any, unless the actual plugin, plugin developer has said, or I have not have come up with that being the conflict of any of those. I mean, just for example, I've heard a lot of people recommend those, and that's what I have. And a couple years ago, somebody said, oh, you need the all-in-one SEO button. Are those going to be like fighting it out on my side? Okay. You, only have, you, you have one or the other, and then the reason why you don't do all-in-one SEO, and I, I, I the, the developer is awesome on it. Corbett is all awesome. He's all that. But the thing is, most web hosts, from a web host standpoint, I have a dedicated server. So I do what, you know, I know from a web host standpoint, is a data resource. Um, it just uses a lot of data resources. But, so, but, but on my end, where I'm just putting it in, am I going to 
know that those two shouldn't be together? Is there going to be some sort of indication? Or no, well, we're going to just let me put anything I want and then. It's funny because the first, first time I, I actually, um, actually, whenever you do that, you uh, you can still have both of them and then start over. <laughs> and then no, just to get active, really, 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 but you only need one. No, oh, and I know that, but I want, mm -hmm. what I'm just saying is that I use that as an example because I know they overlap. How do you know when, for example, somebody's just saying, oh, you've got to use this, but they don't know what I have on my site. How do I know if it's overlapping or it's going to use up resources? Is there a way to find that out? No, there is. When it breaks, so read the reviewers. We really need to look at the reviews. Mm -hmm. That's that's an excellent segue into my next question. Let's um, actually lead to my next question. Is, <laughs> uh, we have tons and tons of plugins and plugins out there that you can choose and pick. Just only SEO only. We have at least ten or twenty. And I was saying, what's the best practice to choose the plugin and test it on your site? You apparently you don't want to install on your that's actually my question. Right. Um, so, like, what do you use for a plugin before before you think? You know, I was going to say SEO in particular. My my suggestion is before you even use the SEO SEO plugin as a crutch, because technically it really is a crutch. You should be writing unique and natural content. Okay, you should not be re-spinning it or anything else. You need to it has to be in your own words, your own flavor, every, you know, your own voice, and. You should be tagging it uh, naturally. You should have to really because Google does not really use the meta meta tags. Mm -hmm. They haven't for years. So, but other search engines that haven't caught up to Google's awesomeness, you know, <laughs> do use it. So, uh, I mean, it's your choice. But you know, the, the standard for blog in blogging, uh, we're looking at Google PageRank and and also Alexa and Compete and Quantcast. So one, one quick aside, while we're still on that little subject, before we get back to the question, um, Google's SEO is changing. Oh, it's changing. Um, but even, in, I, I, I don't know if you guys have heard about what's happening next. Are they bringing yeah. back the meta tags? They're, they, they're going to more of a social ranking system. Yeah. And so the more that you're mentioned on social networks, Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 that will increase your page ranking. As so, a social search. And, and content, your actual um, content, they're going to start upvoting naturally created content, not stuff that's filled with all these keywords. They're going to be actually promoting people that are writing good stuff. So, so how many places you submitted an article is not going to happen? Not going to happen. Yeah, because that article is the same content. Well, I had somebody who taught me how to change it just enough so it looks different and you know <laughs> that you want to submit it to all these different places and there's even a program that will submit it for you. And, and it sounded quite, sounded a little gray hat to me. Yeah, not, not so much anymore. So, okay. In the, in the next two years, the current uh, current ways of doing SEO will be gone by the it, way. It's like, can you say what? I mean, specifically? So, um, uh, keyword injection, having having what like a bunch of words in the same sentence, uh, things with titles, cross site linking, um, all those things, well, their importance are going to be degraded. Um, so going on some other someone on someone else's site and commenting on it, linking back to your site, having other sites link to your site, that will be going down. So which is pointless anyway. Like right, right now, okay, this the thing is the great thing about Comment Love, okay, has it, anybody know what Comment Love is before I well, I have it. <laughs> Comment Love is a plugin that when you install it, it actually um, gives a little bit of kudos to the person who commented. And you can give them a little link love to their most recent post or whatever post they selected because the commenter has that ability. What they do is they put their in the part that says website when they comment, they put their link, and it'll, it'll, it'll uh, bring up their feed and they can select which post. And if they're not spammy or something like that and they approve it, then your most recent post is up. The problem is, is uh, if the it's not was not intended for getting that backlink. It was uh, you know, for getting traffic to the site to socially engage. Okay, and and so it's it it's a great plugin and everything, but there are a lot of people that use it for the wrong reasons.